Okay, this is the third time I made this video. Or well, have to redo the video. Haven't stopped, sh haven't shaved yet, but this is the third time me making this video because people keep texting me or calling me. Ugh. Friends, I swear they only bog you when you're actually busy. Anyways, I'm gonna put more hot water on my face. I've already done it, but just got off a phone call. I swear, people only bug you when they know that you're busy. Alright. Um, the new puck, uh, I finally took, took, it, took that out and put it in here. Alright. Get some hot water on the brush. Um, for those who... Who asked, um... Well, basically my friends are the ones who asked, um... So that itched. Um, should you keep it in the container that it comes with? Or should you actually, um... Or should you actually just get a new, uh, keep it in this or put it in the bowl? Well, my motto is if you have only one puck, put it in the bowl. If you have two pucks like I do, um, keep it in this. It's a choice. You can. I keep it in that for a few days and then put it in the bowl because the bowl makes you have and helps you get a, a much better lather. So I, I, I prefer the bowl, um, but you can, you can do it both ways, it, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, so that's what I, that's what I do. The puck is stuck, there it goes, oh man, that's pretty good sound. But guys, this puck is just, I mean, look at it guys. That's all nice creaminess. And I'm gonna get all that. I want all of it. And then what I like to do is since I have two pucks, I wash this puck out and what I'm gonna do, I keep my container and I put it right back in there. Take this with the lid open, leave it to dry. You close the lid, the moisture will stay in there, it'll mess up your bar of soap. You don't want that. Keep the lid open, let it dry out, and then you can close it. It takes about a few hours, about a day, depending on how, how wet it is. So you can also do that if you have more than one puck, and you left with this. And a whole bunch of lather. And you just go to ham. I mean, th this lather right here is probably going to be the best lather I've, I've ever put on my face. But the person who commented that my lather was too thick, you you're going to like this one a lot better. The reason why I have uh, a better lather today than what I normally have is because I have about three days worth of growth on my face. Here we go. Um, for those who don't know, I started going to Bible study. I go twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday. And I am so grateful for my friend Chris for inviting me to go. Um, because now that I go, I just, I feel connected to the church as well. Um, it helps me, it, it feeds me, and I love it so much. I, I enjoy every single day having something to look up and uh, something to read. Um, and it's just, it's just awesome, guys. And I'm, I'm enjoying every second of it. Um, but this lather is a nice lather. It's, it's not thin, but it's not too thick. So, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, here we go. All 
Um, so what did I do today? Well, I did my studies. But uh, before I did my studies, I slept till like 5 o'clock. I don't do that very often. For some reason, I slept and I just didn't wake up and no one woke me up, so I slept till 5. Which I don't normally do, so... And I hate doing it too, guys. I, I don't like sleeping in the daytime. It makes me depressed for some whatever reason that may be. But I did. Guys, do you guys remember the very first video I did and how nervous I was with, with, with the razor? Now I just go to town with it and it's like, boom. I remember that day. Well, now I put the razor over. But, um, yeah, so, life is okay. Actually, scratch that. Life is better than okay. If I was to die today, I would die a happy man. I mean, my biggest fear in life was dying alone. But I realize now that I won't die alone. I have God. God will be there from the day I live to the day I die. So. I won't ever die alone. Alright, um. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. Because I don't like that. Oh, dropping water all over the place. I just wanna loosen it up just a little bit. I'm throwing cream around, around guys. Much better. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna go against the grain. Here we go. Mm, I guess I nicked myself again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it looks like it. All right. Almost time for a new blade, guys. Um, for those who wonder when it's time to change the blade, it's completely up to you. I mean, you could shave for like three weeks on this thing. It won't feel good, but you could. My motto is, is when I start to go against the grain and it starts to hurt to the point, well, it starts to be uncomfortable to the point where I make a face. Like, if you guys rewind it, I kind of made a face when I was going against the grain. 
when it does that, I say one more shave and then I gotta switch the blade out. So, that's my rule of thumb. It's when you go against the grain and it starts to become uncomfortable. It's when I, it's when I change it out. Alright, I'm going to do one more pass, wash out the bowl because I'm not going to need it again, don't drop the deodorant. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. Alright, yeah I did nick myself didn't I? Alright, that's it. Watch out. Watch out, babe. Um, by the way, I'm talking about my cat. My cat name's Babe. Don't judge me. And no, I don't have a fetish for cats. It's just, she's a female, and I just started calling her that one day, and now that's what she listens to, so. But her, her, her actual legal name is Princess, but she only listens to Babe, so. It's Babe, or it's your bae. That's, that's what she listens to, too. My girlfriend can't understand that. She thinks it's strange. I'm like, well, that's the, that's the thing. That's what she listens to. Put the badger boy. Well, not badger. I wish it was badger. It'd be so cool. Okay. I gotta hold up and do this. The lather is just gone. Alright. We're gonna call that good. Yeah, that's good. minutes all right guys um thank you guys for watching some boy the could hawk coming at you with another hawks outdoors video my my septic pins in there so i will apply that um thanks you guys for watching for those who do and i appreciate y'all guys um you know i remember when i first uh I started making YouTube videos. It was uh, it was in this house. I was in uh, I was in middle school, and uh, it was stupid. <laughs> but I kept with it, and I made a very actual first YouTube video. I actually did, um, and it was actually on this channel. I still have it. Go to the very end, and but the first actual outbreak of videos that I've done was about outdoors, and um. You know, it, it, it was cool. It was cool. Um, did I ever think I was going to go from outdoors to shaving? No. You know, I, I never thought that day was going to happen. Did I ever think I would voluntarily leave Moore County? No. You know, things happen for a reason. Um, and if you think that you're in control, you're wrong. I'm going to tell you right now, you're not the one in control. You know, it may seem like an illusion. That's what it is. It's an illusion. You're not in control. God is. God wants you to walk. You're going to walk. God wants you to drive. You're going to drive. He gave us decisions. But at the end, he's in control. Um, you know, I don't regret 
leaving Sanf uh, Moore County. Um, I'm a Christian. I'm saved, and I'm, I'm more than happy to admit it. Um, so again, I thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to hold you up too much. I'm not going to preach to you, uh, even though if you want me to, I'd be more than glad to. Um, uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you guys in a few more days. Um, I actually, the next video I'm going to make is in three days. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a three days growth, a full three days growth. Um, before I come back with another shaving video. So I'll talk to you guys then. Have a good one. See you guys in the next one. Bye.